Say everybody say hello to Shania. Now my name is Paris. I'm a marine biologist and I have been working with dolphins for many, many years. Um, and in this course, I'm going to be teaching you a lot of cool things about dolphins. I'm going to teach you about their breeding and calves. I'm going to teach you about their echolocation and how they use it. Plus some really, really cool fun facts. And I'm going to teach Yes, darling, I know you're there. I'm going to teach you some... I'm going to teach you some... Gizmo, you made me forget. Oh, yes. Um, I will be teaching you how to identify a dolphin. And I will be teaching you about a few... Of tell you some of the different species that there are, plus a few other cool things about dolphins. So let's not um, procrastinate any further. Let's go. What is a dolphin? Let's get into that. So everybody has seen a dolphin. I am 100% guarantee you have all seen a dolphin. So we go here first. So this is the bottle, what is known as the bottle. So when you hear the term bottlenose dolphin commonly, that is where it got its name from because it's like a bottle. Then this is called the melon. So this area here is called the melon. Just, just here, it's called the melon. Now inside the melon is where their echolocation organ is. So this is where their echolocation organ is and I will be telling you all about their echolocation in the next video. Now their eye, which Shania has covered, is right here. That's it. Now behind their eye is tiny little pinholes, which is their ears. So and that's, they're located around about here. So when we get into echolocation, I'm actually going to tell you a really, really cool fun fact about their hearing. I'm going to say this now because this is going to be very relevant for echolocation. See the mouth shape? How it looks like they're smiling? I've had a lot of people say to me, dolphins always look like they're smiling. Why is that? Hang around dolphinators and I'm going to tell you exactly why in the next video. Why the mouth is shaped the way it is like they're smiling. Then we move down and we move to the petrol fins. So they do have petrol fins right there. Let's go down a little further and we get to the dorsal fin. And we're coming down a little further. There are mammals, so they are minus the fins at the back, they're minus the anal fins and everything. No fins there. And then we get to what we call the fluke. The fluke. It's called a fluke. What the fluke actually is, yes, it's their tail, but what it is, it's two lobes that are joined together, fluking down. So they come in thus, like that. So these are actually two lobes that are joined together. And when the dolphin moves, just like whales, they move up and down like this. Now, they are, they're curved in like that, and that allows movement. So that allows better movement in the water and to be out and thrust. So they use this for moving along and up and down movement. So they use this for moving along like that and it gives them better, it gives them really good thrust and really good movement. Because this is what pushes the dolphin along. In here, near the tail, we do have a slight caudal keel, which is what's called a pre-caudal keel. So there is a slight pre-caudal keel on the sides. Exactly the same as some species of tuna, like the southern bluefin tuna, and the great white also has these pre caudal keels. So, and that's, that just gives movement as well. That's all about movement as well, turning mainly. So you think of it um, in balance as well. So think of it like the keel of a yacht. So it gives it balance and steering. Think of it like that. Now also, something that's very notable for all of you. Here, in between the fluke and the body, so this part here, the peduncle, there is a lot of blood vessels in there. So this is where the major blood vessels are. 
through here. So, this is called the dolphin. So when identifying a dolphin, you have the bottle, the melon, where the echolocation organ is located. We have the eye. We have the tiny little pinhole here. We have the pectoral fin. We have the dorsal fin. We have the fluke, which is two lobes going in like that to allow for movement. We also do have, and this, as I said, that fluke thrusts them along, pushes them along, gives them their thrust. Here we do have slight caudal keel, the pre-caudal keel around the peduncle, which is around here. So, when identifying a dolphin, that's what you're looking for. When you're in the water and you're not sure, if you haven't seen it, do a little breach. You're not sure. Is that a shark or a dolphin? Always look at the fin. Always look at the fin. The fin sort of comes in and comes in a little deeper here. So it's, it's more curved. Slightly smaller. That is a dolphin. So let's move on right now to the next video. We hope you are going to enjoy this. So let's go dolphinators and let's move into echolocation.